my friends. Let's drink some water. It's gonna chill here. It has been a draining few days. Right now it is 11.37 p.m. on Wednesday night. And I started um, a couple online classes on Monday. And this is the first time I've taken two online classes that are actually focused on my major. And the two and the two online classes aren't BS classes like Photoshop 101 or uh, what's another online class that I took? It was like geographical mapping, like 102 or something, like something easy. So I'm like really drained right now. Uh, I just wanted to like explain. Oh, and right now, um, my family and I are in the process of moving um, apartments, so we're just like moving down the street to my leg, one sec. So I kind of want to explain what I've been going through these past couple of days. It's kind of like a brain shock to me. Like how do I explain this? So my first day of classes, so my major is clinical psychology because my focus is to get my degree and <coughs> help out other epileptics to like become an outlet just in, just in case like you guys wanna like speak out or like just have someone to talk to or just be there for you guys. So that's my focus on become on why I want to be a clinical psychologist. So one of my classes is um, victimology and crisis management and serial serial killers slash mass murderers because I think well, the mind of a serial killer is really interesting, so that was a pretty cool class. So I've been focusing on the serial killer class for a couple days now, well, three days. But on Monday, I clocked in like four hours of work. And with epilepsy, the brain fatigue is like really crazy. So. I clocked in like four hours, I think, straight of work. And so I did my work and my brain wasn't hurting that bad until the following day. So on Tuesday, I did one hour of work and then I had an aura. So I took my rescue med which is Ativan, uh, 0.5 milligrams of Ativan. And then I just like chilled out for a little bit and my mom came home early from work because she got all of her work done. So, th so I told her, hey mom, I took 0.5 milligrams of Ativan because I had an aura. And she was like, all right, well, you have to go take a nap or get some rest. And, well, I go to my room. And honestly, I thought taking the point five would help me do more work. Because I have, like, this weird mentality where if I get, if I have some work, I just want to do it all. I just, that's just how I am. I just want to do everything right then and there. 
So, I'm laying in my bed. I'm just looking at the fan, turning and turning. And I'm just thinking, like I'm, I'm thinking, I just go into like just this dark hole. I fall back into this dark hole like, why, why, why me, you know? I just hate going into this dark hole so bad. It's like, this why me? Why was I chosen to have epilepsy? <sighs> why am I going through this? Like, it's fucking bullshit. It's like the, it's like a, a, a switch. A switch just like goes off. And I get like mad at myself because I can't handle this load of work that I should be doing. I just, like at, at that moment, I was just in such a deep, 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 deep hole. And honestly, like I'm still getting out of it. Like right now, this is like me being my authentic self with you guys like I I want I want you guys to see that I'm not always gonna be like super positive <laughs> when it comes to like epilepsy or like you know, um like super positive when it comes to epilepsy like we I have those these dark times like we I'm, sh I'm sure you, like we all do <sighs> so yeah so on Tuesday I have that nap and I have those thoughts and then I wake up and I'm like alright so I'm gonna work some more so I'm like mom I'm I'm fucking 22 years old. I'm so asking my mom, like, mom, can I do my work? And she's like, yes, you can do your work. Or she's like, how are you feeling? And I'm like, well, I'm feeling fine. Can I do my work? She's like, yes, you can do your work. So I do one more hour of work. So I'm writing notes. And I'm done doing my work. It's, uh, I'm done doing my work <laughs> for the day. And we start, and I have another aura after. Fuck. And a little later, I have another aura. And my, my mom and her fiance, like, start moving things out because we're, well, they start, their, they start their, like, little process of moving things to the car so we can move those, um, like, like, furniture to the other apartment, to the other apartment. So I'm, like, carrying, like, a box or something, and I move it to the car, and then as I'm mo uh, walking back, I have another aura. So in the span of... Well, not the span, but on Tuesday, yesterday, I had four auras. Yeah, so I didn't, I, and I told my mom that I had uh, four auras that day. So I didn't have my nightly shower, and I had another rescue med, another Ativan, but it wasn't the point five. <sighs> it was uh, a one, a one milligram of Ativan. So, again, laying on my bed, just thinking, like, like why? 
army. But and I think I was just kind of like stressing like these whole auras because my first class, the the mass murderer class, had a quiz that was due on, that's due on Saturday, and then my victimology class has an essay that's due on Saturday as well. Today, I finished the quiz, and I got a hundred on it. So I don't know why why I was stressing. And then tomorrow I'll just work on the paper. And it kind of shouldn't be too hard, I guess. <laughs> but I'm slowly understanding why I have epilepsy. And I, I, I keep on telling myself. And I am a believer that everything happens for a reason and nothing just happens. And I'm here with you all and we are all going through this together and we are all gonna change something within this community. We're all gonna spread awareness. We're all gonna bring a higher awareness within this community. And I'm really grateful for that because this is it is a tough condition to live with. I mean, the past few days have been draining, but they've also shown me that I can, I can get through it as opposed to say, if I were to do this last year, I would just give up. And I think with, and when I say like I would just give up, if I say, if I had those four auras, I would just think I'm gonna have a seizure, whatever. I'm gonna seize, I don't care. And now, my mentality is just totally, it's different. It's like, you know what? I'm not gonna have a fucking seizure. I'm gonna get through this. I am going to work as hard as I can to not have a seizure. And that's why I, ha that's why I took my rescue meds because, you know, it, six months ago I would have never taken my rescue meds if I had an aura. And that was just me being, what's the word? Um, it's not arrogant. It's just me being, I don't know, stupid. Um, I know there's a word for it, but that's just how I was. And now I'm, I'm facing it like the main, uh, the main thing to fuck me. What is it? What am I trying to say? Give me a little bit, guys. I don't want to have a seizure. I don't. I don't want to have a seizure because I don't, I don't want my family to see me have a seizure. I know how traumatizing it is for 
them to see me have a seizure and I don't want them to to go through that again it's horrible it's so horrible it really sucks I know like for for me like I know it sounds really like horrible but for me I don't care if I have a seizure I don't care but I'm going to do whatever I can to not have a seizure because I don't want my family to deal with that it's it's not something they should have like in their minds or that should be replaying in their minds or that PTSD isn't fair for them that's not fair for them that's how I see it it's just Epilepsy is a whole different beast, man. Like, wow. I would not, I would not wish this upon anyone. Not even like my, my worst enemies. I don't even, I don't even think I have a worst enemy, but I would not wish this upon anyone. for sitting here for it's already been 17 minutes thank you for sitting here and listening to me it's honestly really comforting just to be speaking right here in front of a camera or speaking right here in front of you like I don't want to stop speaking because I have to go back to studying tomorrow and I don't know when I'm going to be back making videos. <laughs> I miss you guys. <sighs> but yeah. So long story short, it's been a rough couple of days, like my brain's adapting and like I pushed it to burn out, man. The second day I was like, my head was like kind of killing me. And then I had the rescue meds and then I laid in my bed and I had my crazy dark thoughts. But, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Nothing just happens. We're all here together. We're all here to support each other. I don't know. We are gonna do something great. <sighs> this condition fucking sucks, but we are the voices of epilepsy. And without us, no one knows about epilepsy. So we gotta change that. I love you all. Good night, good morning, good evening. Thank you for watching. Oh, and um, if you want, 
join the Discord server that I have. It's honestly really awesome. So we support each other. If you have uh, epilepsy, if you want to talk about epilepsy, if you want to rant, if you want to share memes, cute photos of animals, if you have anything to talk about, just join the Discord server and share your story, man. Man, or gals. Love you. Love you all. Love you, friends. Au revoir.